Good morning, afternoon, and good evening. Hello, I hope you win. Aw, thank you, sir. Frank M, ladies and gentlemen, in the YouTube chat. For those of you who have not yet joined YouTube, hopefully we'll make it to 398, if not 400 today. Moment of a scare with my video adapter this morning, so I was powering up my PC. Hmm, what do I need here? A4? Let's go for it. We have to check immediately afterwards to see what it is that we actually need to achieve our GTO strategy. Him. said, NP and also good morning is. <laughs> Frank M. said, it's in Germany 1138. In Germany, Central Europe, yes. Just under my uh, photo on Twitch, I have. Alex Yellow said, Hi. Uh oh, where is my opponent? Yako. Yaku Pionamachu from Romania. More than likely. It is your turn to move, sir. Uh oh. First tournament may have. Frank M. said. Hi, Alex. Now I'll head back. Hopefully we'll get some word from him. We got him a little bit of a notification on the message. Alex 3000 Elo, how are you, man? This does happen, unfortunately. I'm not picking him out. Lee Chess has an automatic 24 hour ban, at least a warning for the first time, and I'm sure that it's my opponent's first time. I blundered while I was typing. Secret melon head, indeed. The Davin Elator. Davin Elator. Great to see you in the game, in the tournament, sir. Zero Vero. Zero Vero, are you real? Let's take a quick peek on a channel that does not eliminate bots. If I see Zero Alex Vero Yellow. in another channel, Said, I'll know they're a bot. All good, I'm the first place in these tournament now. Nice. At least we moved up to page two. It did take me a couple of games to fix my video adapter problem, which I shared my issue in the Discord. If you have some such issue with a Windows update, you can also press F8 to enter Windows safe mode and or disable the adapter, or you can press F2 and update the BIOS, which is what I did. Save and exit, and then I uh, basically went straight into my normal setup, but it took a moment of doing a bit of research while my screen, unfortunately, circled Frank in M. 
a block screen. Nice, I can only watch BC. I'm 500 ELO and I will lose in the first round. Ah, but we're supposed to lose in the first round. Believe it or not, when I was starting out, I couldn't not play in a chess tournament. That wasn't an option in my day. That was never an option. My option was to play and learn and go over the game afterwards with my opponent. In lieu of an opponent to go over the game with, you can analyze your game. For example, we'll go back to my game. We'll analyze my game. You'll see that I played A4, which is my 74th. I'm going to mark that down for a moment. It is Break my 74th A4. No, I mean I wouldn't win a tournament. Well, we're not expected to win tournaments. What we can do is watch ourselves climb in the rankings as you gain experience. The main difference I've maintained, having had two daughters, uh, the difference between women and men in chess is that because women are inherently much more wise and have a better sense of danger than men for the most part. They know when a situation is not advantageous to themselves and it is just you and I uh, pulling into our feminine time. I promise that I will be wearing my offer spiel marked today. So let me just get that on before I forget. I have an offer spiel. The choice of this with that. I am trying to decide what I'm going to be wearing today. Let's go with the talent offer. Put up the offer spiel logo in the background. This today is an offer spiel day. So let's see, let's see where we look, where we stand. On F3s we have 161, Some heat and on mixed. C3s we have 82. Hi. 80. Walking dead. H4 dead. we have 64. Master is back. I am back. Let's head back to our tournament. Always analyze your game Some afterwards. Heat just Thanks for Walking the follow. death. Good morning. Thank you for the Someone follow. Chess mixin. So it's chess mixin. NP. You have Yola. some things. Set. I'm often in play so good 95 pros and it a think a cheater. I'm sorry? Some heath chess mixin. Said. Do you use chess calm? I Walking do. Yet. I do it mainly Set. for uh, Puzzle Rush Survivor. I do enjoy Puzzle Rush Survivor. I like the idea of getting three answers wrong, unlike a real game where you make a mistake and you lose when you're playing opponents like mine. But in general, I prefer Puzzle Streak, where only one answer, only one answer ends the game for you, as it turns out. So. For example, in this particular position, we have to deal with queen to d4 check. We're looking at what is the what is, what's the opponent's big idea. And it is tricky. My first thought is to play Rook to Break F1. Down. Said. Master Chesto G5. OFC. No 
I don't know that I'm going to win. I did win Walking yesterday. Dead. Or not yesterday. Are you sure? <laughs> and you fought on chess YouTube. Set. Game start. All right. Thank you for the heads up. So for some reason, I really do indeed have only 64 H4s. I have 64 on my chart. So because the move H4 was played, I am going to go into Bring positions. Him. Said, yes, 100 S6 re. that allow me to prevent rook h3. Uh-oh, what is my opponent up to? What could my opponent be up to? I think that the weakness of this short diagonal has to be put into account. We want to trade queen since we're up in material. do want to prevent the loss of any further material. Let's keep battening down the hatches just in case Bishop to b5 or any other such moves occur to my opponent. Developing as rapidly as we can. Wow, is he really going to get that much activity? He gets. So if we capture here, we're not threatening mate in two because bishop f3 stops it. So we can't afford to be down that much material. Check, check, check. Can we bother our opponent appropriately or do we need to go elsewhere? We'll go elsewhere. We are up an extra bishop. Isn't that fascinating? All right, weakening. Weakening. Guarding. Preventing. Weakening. Attacking, preparing to attack by fixing. Unpinning. Do we wish for our opponent, by the way? He's got a really good idea of what he wishes to do. So therefore, we're gonna wait our turn. And 
and not allow any rooks to come to the seventh rank. Start picking off some pawns in this position. Tuck our king away so that we can uh, prevent any funny business. Because there will be more weak material available to us. We now have a passed pawn. We were protecting the a7 pawn with a little bit of a trick here. Obviously, our opponent doesn't want to trade his rook for nothing. So we were very lucky in that particular game that our opponent is playing our GTO strategy against us. I don't know that I didn't play h4 against him at one point, but I can only apologize if he took offense to it. Eighth place, rum, whiskey, tequila, more than likely our favorite. <laughs> Boy, I lost to him once. I'm rooting for Abjit. 007 to save the world here. Getting back to our uh, zero, Vero. Lo Yolo Gurlio. Let's check the bot status of Yolo Verleo. We have Commander Root. Commander Root. Alexa, turn on Dojo. Frank M. Dojo. I'm sorry that I said that. Alexa, turn on Dojo. You're sorry, what? You're sorry you said that. Oh, no, no, you don't have to be sorry about that, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. I always try to figure out what type of device people are on for Frank M. I don't know if the six is right above the U in the German keyboard. But I do know that it's much further away from mine. If I'm gonna hit type sure and accidentally hit a number, I will hit either seven or eight. So it could be on a mobile device. At least we're on page one. Way through the tournament. Said. No, I said something in the comments and I toughed it would be sent to you. Sam Sam Chess Mixon. Sam Chess Mixon. Is chess.com your preferred? Frank M. I just don't want to pay. No, I'm on tablet and Germany is not so great internet. A tablet is an excellent way to play chess because of a touch screen. I would recommend that you avoid tapping when you're moving. But if you need it, tapping is a good way to really clearly see where the keys will be located. As you will get all of the options for where the pieces can move. It's unfortunate that you can't tap on your opponent's piece to see where they're going to move. Because number 9 out of 10 times when our ratings are under 1,000, it is because we only know how half of the pieces move. Repeat, 9 out of 10 times we only know how half of the pieces move because we overlook our opponent's moves and their, their ideas behind their moves. So players under 1,000 
only know how Sad. half of the pieces move. That's true. Of course, you know how each piece moves, but that doesn't really warrant how we handle what our opponent's big move, big idea is. The only way that you can understand what's going on more efficiently is by getting in there and playing. It's a lot like practicing a language. Getting the translation wrong, getting the grammar wrong, and learning from our mistakes. All right, do we go for an H4? We do need one H4 to get to 65. I'm gonna mess up the apple cart here a little bit. I already showed how I handled it because the G4 square is weak. Because the G4 square is weak, I decided, oh no, we're going for don't hurt me chess. Fast turtle is not so fast. We're just going to continue developing our pieces appropriately. We're a little slow on the uptake because of H4. We're playing black. In Great general, job. black isn't supposed to castle Sorry. against us. Well, I learned chess from my grandpa when he was a kid. He was the best chess mass rare in Germany. I beat it. I'm only two times. Well, Germany is the capital of chess, by the way. Steinitz, Lasker. Do we coax his knight out to g4? I guess we'll find out. Oh no! Did I do that? So now I have to decide if I'm all in. Bishop takes f7. King takes f7. Knight check. Knight to e6. Where's the queen going? Perhaps to a5. We're sacking a pawn, ladies and gentlemen. But if the queen is going to a5. Frank M. Said. Yeah, German capital of chess yet. Well, this is a bummer. We're gonna have to barnacle. We're not gonna sack the ball. Get time. Said. Hello. And now for something completely different. D5, C D5, or D5, C5. Said. Hello. Alright, we're gonna attempt to not lose a pawn. All right. He's going for it. He's going for the closed center. And we will hopefully withstand it. As we prepare an assault on the other side of the board. Knight takes, queen takes. Well, because h4 is in, g4, knight takes g4, rook to g1 is not what it appears to be. So we'll continue. We'll continue with our expansion on the king side. Just because the center is closed, it means that our king is not decidedly weak. He can win a pawn if he so chooses, it appears. Hmm. Have we played enough chess to know what is going on here? Is it time? For takes, 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 takes. Knight takes in d6. Knight takes e5. d6. Alright, in for a penny and in for a pound. We're going to castle. 
Now that our opponent is castled, it takes away our d6 options. However, it does not take away our queen invasion options. Let's go for it. First things first, we're going for the first weakness that we see. And perhaps the second weakness that we see. Two pieces for, I'm running out of time. I'm more than likely going to lose this particular game. We'll see. We can guard his knight. For just a moment, he can guard his knight. try to pick off that knight. We're going to exchange ever so appropriately. Perhaps we'll get a uh, get a pawn to the sixth rank, but we can't move, unfortunately. We can't move the way we would like. Now that the White squares are out of contention. We're just trying to get our rook across for an attack. We have 13 seconds. Life is difficult. <sighs> Cannot afford to. Lose any more material than I have. Or after the king. Oh no. I'm just too slow. Let's see where we went wrong. Frank M. In this Ten. particular position, h5 UPS was a little hand. bit. Knight h2, knight g3, knight... Of course, this is plainly clear to me now that knight h2 is the right move. Very sad. Very sad that I now have this uh, move in my arsenal to go to the weakened square, it's f5. Also to possibly play f3 and prevent any counterplay in the center. Queen to c7 was a little dubious. Did I also have knight to d2 instead of queen to d2 with the idea of playing g4, g5? Must be considered, obviously. All right, fair enough. Queen f3. Let's take a quick peek at what our status is. We're still doing very well in this position. h4 is a useful move here. Should have considered it. My bad. Queen to g3 followed by f4. Pressure on a6. A little bit of a problem on b2. Okay. So what happened? Queen to d2. I went all in. After the move. Bishop takes b5. I just should have now followed up on my Alex. idea with f4. Set. Bishop takes f4. Game start. Thank you so much, Alex. All right. Orion's Bridge. This sounds like the name of a good movie. We're going to fight for those same squares. I don't really believe in the English opening for aspiring young players. I think that it's uh, almost too much to ask. So 
I usually take a steady, slightly worse position here with a, an avoidance of uh, exchanging pieces since. Have more space. I've always wanted to try bishop to d6 there. I think after knight to e4, I will be hugely embarrassed, but we'll look at it again after the game. h4 is a totally new move to me. He could be maneuvering a piece to e4 via knight g5, knight e4. He also wants to be able to recapture in the center. And we... I guess we'll find out. Well, that's interesting. We're going to go about battening down our bridges on these squares. Our dark squares are officially weak. That much is true. So isn't this interesting? Our opponent is seeking to bother us on the side of the board. And now, bishop takes, knight takes. have to keep in mind, in mind our opponent's weaknesses. Our c5 pawn needs to be guarded by the bishop for a moment. Should we go for it? b5, b4? Not entirely sure what our opponent's up to here. Yes. Oh no. Are we gaining time? We're gaining a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Now, do we continue to capture and then try to get in appropriately or what? I do not know. Okay. We're now officially in business to a certain extent, but I don't want his pawn to go to e4 at any time soon either. Hmm. Material is hanging. How am I going to save it all? Takes, 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 takes. Very awkward, very awkward decision-making process here. Fine. like we should be able to get back our material as long as we don't allow made on the long diagonal that is what he of course is looking for is he going into g7 are we going to find out if he's going into g7 
Sometimes you have to play moves that you don't like. So there's knight g6, h g6, h7, king to h8, queen to g5 to pin my pawn. Are we back in? G5 threatens. Not sure what we're getting away with here. If we're getting away with anything. We've got all the center squares covered. Just need to centralize. We have two pieces for our ruck. We do need just provide a uh, let's see what this position is. I think I'm better in the final position, but I was very lucky in that game, to be honest. There's no way to upset my knight without allowing it to get to further squares that were really weak, such as d4. Let's say you play c4. Knight e7, knight c6, knight d4. Eventually, we're threatening bishop takes c4. Was our position really, really that good? It does look like it. What about our plan back here? Really, I threw away the game with that? I should have played h6? I feel like it was such a waste of time when I can start creating some threats. I also wanted to play b6 at some point, just to batten down the hatches. Offering this rook for two pieces a different way. E5, G5, the knight is trapped, silly me, free pizza, free pizza, I'm not a big fan of uh, opening up my king, king up two castles was best, wow, that's quite courageous. So knight to d5, instead of e takes f4, knight to d5, and the bishop's trapped, so we just recapture. And he can't allow knight takes, can he? So if knight to d5, should he play the move? With a capture on d4, we just capture back, and we have the e3 square. And if he plays some other move, like pawn takes pawn, then we can win material in this manner. He has no way in because the bishop's guarding and battening down the hatches. So, now we're trapped in Fisher's mind battling his own private army, and if we get killed, we'll be lost in limbo. Namaste, to my Rogan, to scrabble how are you? Hmm? For those who have not yet subscribed to or followed the French Bishop Chess Podcast, now is your chance. <laughs> Please check it out and give it a listen. Rogan, good morning. and How are you, buddy? Being playing slow, ladies and gentlemen. I am Pete H. Trader and National Master John MacArthur. I've been around forever. Chester King. French's... Ah, uh, we're we're going with the we're trying to bring up our d sixes. I am good, John. I am giving the Pierts a whirl. New ideas in the Pierts defense. Mm-hmm. 
please go away. Well, I'll take the bishop there. It does mean that I'm not going to get, be getting castled for some time. That much is true. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop takes not quite what I want. So therefore, let's just continue to develop. Fight for the center appropriately. Normally, we wouldn't want to fight e5. We could have castled there. If needed, e5, de5, de5. Knight takes e5. Alright, he's asking to get his stuff back, unfortunately. I just need to get my pieces out in a fashion that will yield some form of an advantage. Takes, 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 takes. E5 is threatened. Can't argue that. No disputing the fact that our opponent is threatening e5. Mm -hmm. Is castles optimal? E5, DE5, DE5. Queen moves, Bishop bothers. Yada, yada, yada. Or do we play C5, E5? No. Our king needs to be safer. Hmm. don't have a choice here. We don't have a choice here either. King is led naked. Three pawns for the piece. E5 square is his. Well, that's fascinating. It never occurred to me that he was going to go about it that way. Takes, takes. I do want the bishop pair back, though. Please. May I get the bishop pair back? Please and thank you. Yes, yes. I don't want to lose any more time on this than I have to. I pretend like I have enough defenses on that side of the board. Small victories. Small victories, ladies and gentlemen. H4, G4, H6. We're missing on the dark squares here.
Do we allow rook f6? Hmm. No good, folks. No good. NG. Can he sacrifice that? Do I dare offer him something with his knight sitting over there? It is all yours, by the way. How do we get in there? We're still trying. We're still trying. Bishop versus knight. I don't like it. Let's just keep restricting. Keep restricting. Whoa, Chester King. Did not know you were so low on time. How bad was it for me? Steve Boar? Yeah, that's to be expected. Was I at all better at any point? I felt like I was better. Queen f4, rook c6. Yep, nothing there. Nothing there, folks. Let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> Check out our Master Chess Dojo is black. Fifty-eight percent with the move C five, but we played C six most often. We're only at seventy-six D sixes. We've got a long ways to go with the here at the spine, mind you. Oh jeez. Don't want to So where are we? We have eighty two C threes. Going with eighty three C threes. C3 Sicilian it is. Oh no, not that note. Oh, actually it's turned into a really good line for him. One that I know less about, to be honest. So Queen takes D4. Knight a3, takes, takes, knight to b5. Knight a6. Well, let's just go with the isolated pawn position and we'll see how we fare. We need our development fast and or furious. <laughs> I was studying this position, mind you. The Queen's Gambit accepted. The only thing unusual about this is the placement of the Queen. So how do we go about it? We avoid it. We avoid ninety four. So 
So now, is h4 a viable move? Can we prepare, prepare against anything here? Yeah, let's prepare against anything here, just in case. I keep him from developing his pieces. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bother, I have to admit. But we're gonna go for what we can in this position. Grab some space. Notice he still can't develop his bishop, mind you. Still can't develop his bishop. Still can't play e5 just yet. And we are threatening to give him a good square by accident. I'm not too pleased with that. Frank M. Don't have a way of bothering the queen I'm back. successfully. I needed to do something. So I've given up uh, options on trying to bother the knight. Is he getting out of this mess alive? We will find out. Am I getting out of this mess alive? Activating our rooks against his pawns, even if we lose a pawn in this deal, we will be okay. Now we have a good outpost square for our knight. He still has a little difficulty developing his bishop. <clears throat> Thank God he doesn't have a dark squared bishop to bother us. We want to trade pieces, right? Let's just keep it up. He's limiting the scope of our bishop. So we'll limit the scope of his. No discoveries, ladies and gentlemen, no discoveries. So now, do we give him the d4 square? Or do we continue to bother the daylights out of him? Let's bother the daylights out of him. Let's make sure that our bishop has a square. Moment of truth, huh? Where are you headed? We need squares for our pieces as well. Knight takes, bishop takes. We want a rook on the seventh rank. the trades. One pawn for a piece. Well, isn't that intriguing? Get 
Ready? Father his pieces appropriately. Keep our bishop not too far away. Frank M. said, Good video, but I'm going to go off. I'm sorry, I may come Checked. back later, but you don't need to wait for Checked. me. Alright, I guess we're promoting. We are promoting. Well, unfortunately, I can't say that I will wait for you. Not stalemate, mind you. Oh well, we made it back to fifth. Who did we get for missing three rounds of our own tournament? Who did I lose to? That's Turtle. Oh, I lost that game. Yeah, I went nuts. F4. I went nuts in this position instead of playing four, as Philidor put it. On break, so the soul of chess. I love to paraphrase these great sayings in order to make them a little bit more accessible for the average player. On breaks are the soul of chess. All right, congratulations, everybody. It was quite impressive. Now, and just now, we're gonna raid some music and I might be back with, and I hope to be back with, some instructional content. I'm gonna raid one of my favorite German streamers. Just because we can. Thank you everyone for being here. It was a lovely event. Remember, we are still doing what we need to. Please check out the French Bishop Chess Cast. Soon to have the latest uh, discussions, however controversial, on uh, the transgender situation with B-Day. And of course, the World Cup updates and more. Subscribe to the YouTube and let us know what you think. I'm hoping to reach 400. If you can help us get to 400, that would be amazing and super. Cheers and ciao, everyone. Thank you so much, Samith Chess Mixon. Thank you for the follow, Kingslayer Sloan. Thank you for the raid. Good morning, Rogan. I will be back. Cheers and ciao.